Frank, hello, hello, hello. Hello, we need to adjust this camera for this gets warmer. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Media, if you want to go ahead and get the hands up, if you have any questions, I'd appreciate it. All right, thank you. Um, all right, we'll get started. Uh, Mike Trudeau. Right. Hey, Frank, how are you? Good, good, Mike. How you doing? Doing well, thanks. Frank, uh, do you, would you mind telling who's going to be able to play tonight uh, and if you've decided on a starting lineup at this point? Yep. Uh, so LeBron and Anthony and Mark Gasol and Marquise Morris and KCP uh, will not play. Um, the starting lineup, I think that's everyone that's not playing. The starting lineup will be uh, Dennis Schroeder, uh, Wes Matthews, Kalen Horton Tucker, uh, Kyle Kuzma, and Montrez Harrell. Frank, would you mind touching on some of these new guys, uh, that, how they've looked so far? And if you want to start with Schroeder um, and Harrell and then Matthews since they're starting, uh, what have you observed from them in the week of practice and, and what are you looking for tonight? Yeah, everything we uh, we brought them here for, uh, to be honest, has showed up in the first few practices. Uh, Dennis's speed on both ends of the floor and the ability to create his own shot uh, to contain the basketball defensively. Uh, West Matthews' toughness, uh, three-point shooting, uh, physicality defensively. Uh, Trez, Trez is scoring ball in the post and on short rolls, uh, the way he's, he's uh, really good at. Um, defensive end and and Mark has really stood out as we expected with uh, passing and uh, you know how, how great he is um, with his offensive skill set, uh, being, being a big body, showing the discipline that uh, you know, that has helped him win a championship defensively. Um, you know, all those guys have looked really good, and you know tonight it's really, it's really just going to be about uh, getting those guys comfortable in in our system with new teammates. You know. Um, we want to establish ourselves uh, as being a team that plays harder than our opponent every night. Um, but it's really going to be about, you know, executing what we're looking at, what, what we're looking to do on both sides of the ball and getting used to their new teammates. Last thing for me, Frank, what's it like being back in the arena? It's great. You know, it's different for sure. Uh, just even driving downtown to the arena felt different with a lot of things closed up. Um, you know, the, End zone seating uh, being more empty uh, feels different, but uh, definitely exciting to be back in the building. All right, Dan Warkey, please. Hi, Frank. Um, is there any reason why Gasol, Markeef, and KCP are sitting? Is it uh, just rest related or, or I yeah, guess? No injuries there. No, just, just trying to uh, manage the preseason uh, intelligently. Bill Orm. Hey, Frank. I, I just wanted to go back to the, the question about, you know, the kind of the, what's weird about being back in the arena. Just you mentioned your drive here. Like, did you have to remind yourself what your route was? Did it, was it second nature? It's been nine months and a day since you guys have been here. Like, what was just the, like, could you give us a little more on the experience of coming back? Yeah, it was, uh, I actually, like, I love to drive down here. You know what I mean? Seeing the uh, LA downtown skyline and, um, you know, that felt good uh, to be back uh, in that, you know, in that mindset. Uh, it is different because part of that drive typically is like, you know, getting two stuff for the atmosphere you know, that we're about to go coach a game in. Uh, and, uh, you know, that part is different because the atmosphere is going to be, be very different. You know? and, uh, uh, but this, you know, this, this building still has a ton of meaning, you know, to, uh, to all of us. So I think it's going to be fun for our, our, our staff and players to be here and you know, hopefully fun for our fans to see it on TV. Kyle? Hey, Frank. Welcome back. Um, yeah. Lionel Hollins is out in the, on the floor tonight. Um, given that he didn't accompany you guys to the bubble, what's changed about um, maybe the situation and, and the comfort level of, of him uh, joining you guys in competition? Yeah, it's really his his choice. Uh, I think he should answer that question. Uh, you know, I know he, he wants to be a part of it. He wanted to be part of the bubble. 
Um, and, uh, you know, as to, uh, you know, why he feels safer doing it uh, this year, that's really a question for him. But, you know, I think, I think he, you know, my, my lens on it is that, you know, he saw that the FDA is taking great care to keep everyone safe. And, um, you know, follows these protocols, you know, wearing a mask and keeping the distance and, and all those types of things. Um, you know, uh, there's reason, to, you know, reason to believe that, that he can do this, do his job and be safe. And, um, you know, that's my lens on it, but it's really a question for him. Brad Turner. Hello, Frank. Hello. Uh, how have you seen Taylor evolve from the first day of camp? Well, shit, almost two years ago, it seems like, to you got him to the bubble, he played some there, to where he is right now. Well, that's, that's hard to answer because he, he was injured and didn't really participate in camp you know, a year ago. I, I can say that back then, um, his body looked different than it does today and his shot, uh, his three-point shot looked different than it does today. You know, those are, I think, the two two biggest things that uh, he was able to change in his first year, uh, mostly in the G League. And, um, you know, I think there's a, a ton of confidence that has been brought with those two changes. All right, last question for you, uh, Mark Medina. Hey, Frank, good to see you. Um, what have you been your early takeaways on what the day-to-day the -day process has been like with going through the new protocols with this setup, both in practices and on a game day? You know, it's, it's definitely different. You know, it's a different challenge than being in the bubble, for sure. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, I guess we're going to be begin the, uh, the point of care testing tomorrow. Uh, I think that's going to be one of the biggest hurdles uh, for what this, this feels like for everyone uh, in terms of having to, to wait in your car and whatnot uh, before you can enter the, the facility. But um, you know, everything's done for a reason. We, we have, a, me personally, I have a great deal of, of trust and faith in the protocols that the league has put in place to keep us all safe. You know, they have our interest, uh, you know, uh, our safety is in their best interest and in all of our best interest. So you know, we just got to roll with it. It's going to be that type of year. All right, actually, if you don't mind, we got one more from Dan Worky, please. Hey, Frank, just to, to clarify, when was the last time that you guys got tested? Did you get tested before? today at the facility? How did that kind of work? Yep, this morning before shoot around, we all, we all got tested. Thank you, Frank, that's it. All right, take care, guys.